the connecting, uh, uh, what they call it, the connecting slugs for the Apple Watch. So the bottom line is that you have a normal looking watch on your wrist and on the underside of your wrist, very discreetly, I would imagine, you have the Apple Watch there. And uh, I actually thought this was kind of a brilliant idea. I think it's ridiculously expensive. I, I was seeing people toss around some crazy numbers, but I thought the fundamental idea wasn't bad. And it, it, it was just, I'm not saying I would do it, Brady. But when we were talking last time about, oh, would you wear two watches, one on each wrist? Of course not, no, that's just dumb. It never occurred to me, two watches on one wrist? Well, now maybe there's something to this. But it's but from your from your huge sigh, I presume you have other thoughts about this. It's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, you think it's stupid? Yeah, the Apple Watch tells the time. If you want to tell the like I think it's ridiculous. I don't know. I, I'm I made my thoughts clear about it with one of my responding tweets mm -hmm. where I made my own version of it mm -hmm. that also includes a cheese grater <laughs> you know if you want like I like I use cheese graters and I think they're useful uh -huh. but I don't bolt one onto my watch uh -huh. yeah that, that's that's the perfect analogy for the situation Brady absolutely mm, thank you I thought you'd like that yeah I won't try to pick that apart in the slightest I'm just going to try no. to get all the value out of that yeah okay I can. good good I just think it look it's silly the whole <laughs> <laughs> I love I love your voice right now. You just it's like you're so frustrated you don't even know what to do. Oh no. I mean well it's not gonna catch on anyway, so it doesn't matter, but it's not I gonna catch on because it's a fortune. Yeah, but even if it was cheap, the whole point of people don't get it. The people who are going to shun the Apple Watch and stick with a nice Swiss watch like the classiness of a nice Swiss watch. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not like they're th it's not like they're thinking oh the Swiss watch has got a real utility for me but I also want the utility of an Apple watch so let's bolt them together and have something that doesn't look quite as nice and classy but does both mm -hmm. it's like it's a decision my thought on this is it lets each thing be the thing that it wants to be you have no it the doesn't good it's not it's, no, it's not it does not great it's not letting the Swiss watch be the thing the Swiss watch should be because a good Swiss watch doesn't have some piece of modern electronic equipment hanging off its bum. <laughs> Listen, the, the Swiss watch is on top, taking the glory position that everybody can see it, <laughs> and it looks really good. And then the Apple watch is the workhorse on the other side where people are less likely to see it, but it can still provide all the functionality of tapping you on the wrist for notifications. And presumably it can still do the health monitoring stuff from that location of measuring your heartbeat and everything else. So I thought I thought this is a good I thought this is a good idea. I don't think it's sufficiently discreet, but let's say it is sufficiently discreet. It still completely ignores the whole fact of tradition. No, well, like it's, it's, I mean, the, yeah. it's the tradition of a of, a, of an old fashioned watch people like to. I mean, yeah, I can never argue against your your position of we used to do things a different way and now we don't. I mean, yeah, you win that one. Mm. We used to do things differently. Okay, well, now who's, ma now who's making a stupid argument? Anyway. I think my argument is perfectly reasonable here, and your argument yeah. is I like the way things used to be done. Don't ever change them. Yeah, right. One little thing about why this caught my attention right away is because when I actually first had my Apple Watch, I thought, you know, let me try to wear... You're going you're gonna to hate this. <laughs> as soon as I say this, I just realized. <laughs> but when I had my Apple Watch, I actually tried it for maybe a day, putting the face on the wrist because I thought it's, it feels like it's more comfortable actually if you're using the screen sometimes and pressing the buttons to have the face on the wrist, on the bottom of the wrist as opposed to the top of the wrist. So I actually tried wearing my watch the other way around and I came to the conclusion that yes, it is more comfortable, but it does not outweigh how dumb it looks to wear your watch that way. Mm -hmm. So that, that's another reason why I felt pretty amenable to this double watch look with your traditional one on top. Well, and your other well, one on the bottom. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a bit surprised you like it, but I'm not entirely surprised because the sort of person who likes an Apple Watch is different to me already. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm hardly going to be surprised that they like this thing, which I think is stupid as well. Uh -huh. What are you wearing on your wrist right right now? Don't you have uh, uh, a whole bunch of watches and a new watch? Maybe is there a new watch in your life? I am wearing my Speedmaster at the moment, but mm -hmm. I do have a new watch. Tell me about your new watch. Because oh. 
I got I got a message from you from Morocco while I'm in Hawaii about something that had caught your eye in a local store. No, it wasn't. It wasn't local. Was it not? I I wasn't paying no. any attention. I thought that junky store that you sent me a picture of that was horrifying with with stuff everywhere is where you found this watch, like in a corner, no, in a box. No, I was just so, I was just shopping on the internet and just <laughs> I'd, be, I'd been coveting it for a while and eventually I thought oh, I have to have it, oh, okay. so I bought it online. Let let me get it for you first because it makes a lovely sound. Hang on. Okay, you're gonna go get that. Oh. Hello again, internet. Brady's just away. Getting his watch from who knows where. I don't know why I'm so so against these Apple watches. Why are you still what? talking oh. to them in my absence? I, 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 I was uh, sorry. I'm not, I, I saw an Apple watch today, Gray. I, like they're like hen's teeth for me. I was really surprised. I saw one out in the wild today. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. So here's here's my new watch. Mm -hmm. Like the um, Speedmaster, it's a manual watch, so you have to wind it up. But this is actually noisier than the Speedmaster, so you can hear it wind up. You ready? This yeah. is winding it up. Listening. Yeah, we're listening. Isn't that a great noise? That does sound very nice. Yeah. So there you go. I have a new watch. It is a Smith's watch. This is a Smith's Deluxe, and this is an this is an old old watch from I think this one it's, was nineteen fifty four. This is one of the two types of watch that the Everest climbers used when they got to the top in fifty three, mm -hmm. and. There is much debate to be had, but apparently Edmund Hillary was wearing one of these when he got to the top, and Tenzing, I think, might have been wearing a Rolex. But because the, the expedition were using Rolexes and these Smith's watches, Smith's has gone out of business now. They don't, mm. they don't exist anymore. It's an English watch, not a Swiss watch. Mm. And it's just a lovely old thing, and I just wanted to have it, and I got it. It sounds very nice. It, it's... Yeah. I told you on Insta Message, it's not my my aesthetic preference for watches, but it is mm -hmm. still a good looking watch in the abstract. I'm noticing I, a bit of a theme with you for explorers' watches. Is that is that fair to say? That is fair to say. Uh, let me just send you another picture of it that I took. I have another mm -hmm. question about this. Go thing. ahead. Go ahead. So, Ray. just a hypothetical here, but mm. let's say the first man on Mars lands wearing an apple watch mm -hmm. does that change your feeling about apple watches would you like them more well no because that's um that's not like it's not an old historic thing anymore but in 50 years i can imagine someone like me liking it but you but it, you wouldn't feel oh i have this whole collection of explorers watches that i'm building up no and now i need an no. apple watch because someone landed on freaking no. mars with a with an apple watch no no it would be it would be a bit more commercial these days but anyway have a look have a look at this picture okay i'm looking at this picture Th this is a this is a picture i took last night of the new watch oh that's a that's a good looking picture of that watch it is it is old and, and beat up but that's a great photo of it i think it does it more justice too that is kind of what it looks like yeah that looks good